Blender, Grease Pencil, Build Tool Settings, Crashes and Holes, Big Holes. <lacht> and that is why most of my creations in Blender have been purely outline and drawing. But I've heard that the coloring has been improved in version 3.4. So let's have a look and run some tests. <lacht> The small little gaps that seemingly Blender couldn't see and never filled them. So let's test these long tiny gaps. Also I want to see how it deals with the donut shape. So going on the fill layer, changing on the fill bucket, being in a solid fill, having a vertex color selected. Maybe not that green, the green is horrible. And the standard precision by one, dialect contract by one and thickness by five as well. You have to click twice now and Maybe you can see it on YouTube, but here's a little gap left. Let's zoom into that. Yep, there's a gap. And I think if we close enough and do that again, then it fills it. That the distance matters for that is so weird. So what can we do? Let's pump up the precision to two. Go out far enough. Yeah, that fills it. That feels nice. This dotted contract, you remember that? If you go a little bit over, let's say two, then it tends to being able to get this, but not on the setting apparently. Two wasn't precise enough. So let's go at three. That worked better. There's still a tiny gap there left. Mm, so maybe four? Nope. Five. Yeah, five did the trick. Let's try on the donut. There's a gap. Is it able to fill anyways? Or is it crashing? No, that didn't work. So you would have to close the gap. And one new way of doing that, I think, is by pressing once and with the fill bucket and then pressing shift alt and going to the right. And you see these boundaries coming out. If now I press another time, it uses these boundary strokes to fill in. Now, every time you want to color something though, they show up again. To get rid of that, you have to press alt and then go in the other direction and they disappear again. Going back, I wanted to actually see whether the color stays in the outer ring when coloring in. And that isn't the case yet. That annoys me. So you still have to go and draw a boundary strike through the middle of it. Then color in what you want to color. And in the end, you go draw, clean up, clean up the boundary strokes and they disappear. Is Blender Fill Tool perfect yet? No. <laughs> I don't understand why the coloring doesn't fill right to the edge. These are vectors, no pixels. So the coloring should always be super precise. But has Blender Fill Tool improved? Yes, I didn't get any crashes and I managed to get some settings that work for me. But you might run into troubles depending on the hardware and the shots you're having. What? Why are you still here? Go away. I have so many drawings to color. Go away or watch some of these other videos here.